Hey YouTube, this is Dean making another vid. If you like my content, please consider hitting the like button. Also, please consider subscribing, as it is very much appreciated. Um, just watched Dom's that would uh, Flint and Steel Saturdays, and he had birch polypore, which Jason sent me some too, and on fatwood, and it wouldn't go up. <laughs> I feel your pain, mate. Um, I've had it where it wouldn't do it too, so I thought I'd give it a go. Hopefully, it won't produce too much smoke and. It's, not um it's pretty early so yeah anyway um this is not to say i can do it and you can't or any of that hopefully or not hopefully but it may fail too for me um i know with char cloth i can get this stuff to go usually pretty quick but char cloth gets fairly hot i don't know how hot this stuff but i've seen um kujo mojo did um heat guns on amadou and char cloth and the amadou got, gets a lot hotter so i'm thinking birch polypore because the potassium nitrate gets hot too so yeah i don't know anyway also mark horden mentioned about breathing on this stuff about i'm going gentle our propensity is to blow hard, and that tends to cool the ember down. I know it's counterintuitive, but to only blow gentle on it, maybe. I've always gone real hard too, so um, that's just the thing. And he said with pocket bellows, it's even worse, because you often get spittle coming out when you're blowing hard. That cools it the ember down as well I'm not sure as far as that goes because especially with my pine cones I blow as hard as I can and they go up almost instantaneously with charcoal so yeah but anyway let's give it a go um, I'm glad you showed it because um, I'll quite often show my I, I do try and show my hits and misses but i have sometimes failed and i've reshot because you don't want to sit here seeing me for 10 minutes failing at something and then you try something different and then all of a sudden you're succeeding so i will show you the hits and misses but i also it's um yeah, I, I have reshot occasionally too because of just stupid mistakes or whatever, you know. So, yeah, but I'm glad you showed that. Now, Jason said to fluff it up a bit. I'm using quite a big piece. Well, that, as far as Amadou goes, that would be a magnificently large piece of Amadou. It's right at the edge. I'll just use my flint to rough it up as best I can. Doesn't look very rough, but he said put it right at the edge because I've never used, I've only used one little bit of this ever. Maybe didn't rough it up enough. Can't even get the polypore to go. Maybe tear it. Oh, 
We're on it, bitch. This might even be a failure for me. I can't even get the polypore to go. Oh yeah, here we go. Yeah. Same for me. It's just scorching the fat wood. That's not going to go. All it's doing is scorching. And I'm under a lot of pressure about smoke, which I don't want to produce anymore. I don't think the polypore gets hot enough. This char cloth would have, would have had that. Would have had that gone in a matter of seconds because it gets a lot hotter. I'd say that doesn't get hot enough. The polypore. Because all it's doing is charring it. Normally with fatwood, what you have to do is get the oils in it, the resin, to um, boil. And it basically vaporizes and that's what you get to go. So I'm glad, glad you showed that, Dom, because, um, yeah, it, um, it, it warrants more experimentation. But, um, yeah, I, I, I'm just under so much pressure for smoke. I'm, I'm paranoid about getting a fine for it. But anyway, um, yeah, because I could go and get char cloth, and I reckon I'd be able to get that going in a couple of seconds. I didn't bring any out. Um, yeah. Uh... As far as I could tell, the polypore just doesn't generate enough heat for the um, for the fat wood to actually go up and ignite. So anyway, there you go. It's um yeah, that's interesting. But um, you can certainly get other things. I'm, I don't know. Pine cone, no, it's even harder. Um, you'd have to do like uh, the simpler tinders. You'd think that would one of the simplest because it's so flammable. But um, uh, jute would be probably there because it, it 
it's basically it had burst into flames. That'd get hot enough. I'd like to see Jason do some experiments with it too, because um yeah, he he'd have a heap of it over there in in um over in New Zealand. Anyway, there you go, polypore and fatwood. Yeah, it doesn't seem to birch polypore. It doesn't seem to really work very well, but um yeah, I I. I I've seen that, that happen before where it just sits there and chars. It doesn't actually get hot enough. And I tried not blowing as hard, just gently blowing with the pocket bellows, and it didn't help. So anyway, thanks for watching.